right into this developing story. We now welcome Dr. Galia Grisaru, head of the Pediatric Infectious Diseases Unit at the Dana Children's Hospital at Tel Aviv Saraski Medical Center. Thank you so much, doctor, for your time on this day. So it was back to school, and there we saw these pupils with masks on, their own home testing kits, a whole new normal. Doctor, talk to us about the risks involved of sending two and a half million children back to class in person. Right. So we know that uh, in the last few days, the number of the new cases of COVID virus uh, uh, per day is about 10,000. And about half of them is young people and children below the age of 19. So let's say that we know that each day about 5,000 uh, children and adolescents uh, are being uh, uh, diagnosed. However, uh, we also know that about 50% of the children in the age of 12 until 15 are already vaccinated. And if we ask, if we said about the age of more than uh, 16, it's about 70%. And I think this is the, the good news that uh, I, I hope, we hope that uh, with the, within a few weeks and months, more and more uh, students, more and more pupils will be already vaccinated. Uh, we also know that uh, the program of the Ministry of Health is to check the, the students on, if not on a daily basis, uh, so at least once every few days with the rapid test. Uh, we also know that uh, we try that uh, most of the children will, uh, oh, sorry, the teachers will be vaccinated and the one that are not vaccinated will be again regularly checked for COVID. So I think with all these precautions, we can say that we try our best and the DC will be safe and to keep the mental health of the children, not only their health, but also the mental health and uh, get them the chance to be back in school. Certainly the mental health issue is a major concern, of course, after three lockdowns in the space of a year since the outbreak, it's been a very difficult time, especially for younger people not getting used to spending time with their friends in classes. But talk to us about the expected increase in cases, notwithstanding the restrictions and the precautions that you've outlined. Is the medical system able to deal with a massive increase, given that the numbers are so high right now? Yes, so uh, as I mentioned before, uh, now with the third uh, dose given in, uh, for all the ages, all the ages since the age of 12, uh, the chance uh, that, uh, that people that are already vaccinated uh, to develop severe disease is low. And the number of the people that are not vaccinated at, at all is low as well, especially at the older ages. So the main issue is the severe cases. Not, I mean, if someone gets COVID in a very easy way, he's not hospitalized, he doesn't need oxygen, he doesn't need to be uh, mechanically ventilated. This is not the problem. The problem is the severe and the critical uh, ill patients. And uh, we uh, expect that with the third dose of the vaccine, even to young people, uh, this kind of cases will not be so high as we used to see them in the first and the, the second and the third wave. And as you say, with this vaccination drive expanded to children from the age of 12 and up and calls for people to come and have the third booster shot, what message do you personally have to people who are reluctant or reticent to come and get inoculated at this point? I think that the message is very clear. Go and get it for your safe and for the safe of your family, the safe of the children, the safe of everybody. Just go and get it. Do not hesitate. Well, we certainly appreciate your insight and your advice, Dr. Galia Grisaru, the head of the Pediatric Infectious Diseases Unit, speaking to us there from Tel Aviv. Thank you so much, as always, for your time.